Oh, the beauty! The lighting is... This is my garage! I finally moved! So I got that little goodie right there. I'm sure you guys will like that. It has got the couch in here. I already got a bum sitting on it. Broken tail light. I have a garage. <laughs> so, I thought I'd have more to say about having a garage. I'm excited, obviously. Because I've wanted one forever and now you guys can get garage videos. But all I can think to say is I have a garage. <laughs> I want to go grab a space heater because it's like 30 degrees. Death before dishonor and he's dishonoring himself. 36 degrees outside and it's pissing rain. Is there anything else we need to grab while we're here? Motor oil. His name's Roger. We call him Little Raj. Little Raj. Why is there such thing as space heaters? Nobody lives in space. Oh, recording in progress. Same here. I'm recording you. Dude. Yes. I don't like the box. What do you mean you don't like the box? Oh, Jesus. Don't get that one. It's all beat up. <laughs> it's the one somebody brought back because it fell out of their truck on the way home. This thing better heat up because the box is trash. I think this is the one. It, it is fogged up in here, my dude. I'm thinking about starting the membership thing for YouTube. I've had a bunch of people reach out and ask about different ways, like if I have a Patreon or different ways they can help support the channel and stuff, which would be awesome because now I have a garage. I feel like we're at a point in the channel I want to, I, I've, and I've got the um, resources now. Getting a lot of comments lately of what people want to see me do to the bike next in terms of like handbrake and scrape plate and chopping the fender and just all this other stuff. So those of you that would be interested in helping out the channel, uh, I need some ideas. It's three tiers. And I already know what the first tier is going to be, but I need... I need help with the second two tiers. So if you guys have ideas of what you would want, then let me know. I think third tier should be Theodore OnlyFans. Yeah? Yes. And I think I'm speaking for the majority of it's, it, it will come at a price. <laughs> third third tier OnlyFans, that it's gonna it's not gonna be cheap. Here's in the subscriptions and all that. I wanna make it as cheap as possible. I'm not trying to, uh, where is it? I don't even see the artist. It's on the, it's the big. Oh my God. I was reading the Moody's jewelry sign. You can read? I just know logos. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's, it, it's weird. I don't really know how to word it because I don't really ask people for money. Um, this is kind of the first time I'm doing this, so. Uh, but it, it would definitely help out the channel and I think it would be something you guys it would help out with stuff that you guys want to see It'll help me be able to get more videos out to you guys I mean, I'm gonna be able to get more videos out anyway just for the fact that now I have a garage so on days like this I Can you know do some work to the bike because I've got some parts that you guys don't know about yet I don't know if you can tell but I don't know what I'm doing. Is it hot in here to you? I'm just insecure dude People don't talk about their insecurities, but I am, dude. Look at my face, I look like a... You look like Mario. The, you? Yeah. With the mustache. I'll take that. It's better than what I think. Is it on the proper setting? Yeah. On uh, auto. So we got a space heater. I could live in here, dude. You do live in here. I got a couch, just get a mini fridge, got a space heater, my wheelchair, my bike. Oh, I'm just chilling in this wheelie, dude. Oh, so smooth. So smooth. What's up, dude? 
Yeah, I got this badass lift now. That's gonna make it so much easier for not only videos, but working on the bike. So, you guys saw the video, you all saw the video. I messed this thing up. I guess I went for a scrape. A tail light shot off. That was all fine. The fender caught a, uh, a little crack in the concrete and it uh, jolted my bike forward. Which of that, I wouldn't be too worried about. Normally, what people would do is cut the fender and put some sort of scrape plate on here, reinforce the fender. But if you come look at this, um, it ripped my fender out of these bolts right here on both sides. You can see it better on this side. There's, a, there's supposed to be fender connecting right here. Comments were blowing it up with time to chop the fender and get a scrape plate. And of course, yeah, that's what I'm doing. You guys aren't wrong. Uh, but I need a new fender. I'm not gonna chop this fender and put a scrape plate on it when it's not bolted up. And some people were talking about, well, you could weld it or get, that's too much work. You can find a rear fender, it ain't gonna be color match. You can get these rear fenders all day long. At least around here, I don't know if you can do it where you're at, but around here we can find fenders all day. New fender, uh, chop it, scrape plate. I think I know what kind of scrape plate I wanna go with. You guys have been giving me a lot of suggestions of who to send the fender to or who to get a kit from. Um, I think I know who. I'm not gonna say anything yet though just cause I don't, I'm not sure. Until then, make sure there's no post along this. Your boy Dallas that builds my crash bar, the case saver, the step plate, all the goods that you guys know and love. Uh, when he sent me, I think it was with the step plate, he sent me two taillights. So I have tail lights. Um, so until I figure out the scrape plate thing, uh, I'm gonna slap this tail light on. It'll bolt up, it'll work. Uh, I'll break it, cause it's fun, you know? And break a tail light, you get to show up to a lot, smash your tail light, and then go home. So you know, you look badass when you're really not doing much. I believe that was actually a part of the deal that he said when he sent me my scrape plate is that the only thing he required was that I break these two tail lights using the step plate. So we gotta do that. The chain kit. This one I'm excited about. I'm very excited about. Uh, so as you guys saw in a video way back, I finally switched to chain. Uh, I went with a 24 tooth up front and a 56 tooth in the back and it helped tremendously so using the step plate I'm able to get them super super slow but I want to get them slower a lot of hate in the Harley world and I don't understand it and I'm not gonna dig into it right now but there is a god-awful amount of hate on handbrakes on Harleys those of you that aren't in the Harley world Thank God you don't know about it because it's annoying. They just hate on them so much with handbrakes. I don't care. I want a handbrake on this thing. I want to be able to do circles. Uh, the more I get used to the step plate and slowing my wheelies down, I mean, those are my goals. So if you want to see that, stick around. If you hate handbrakes on Harleys, I don't know what to tell you. See you later. 56 tooth is great. I got a 65 tooth sprocket. We go from a 56 to a 65. Want to see the size comparison? It's a it's a big sprocket. 50% of me thinks I made a mistake, and I'm gonna hurt myself with this. The other half of me is super excited. Oil pan mod. It's simple. I mean, I, I'll show it on camera if you guys want me to, but it, I mean, all it really is is just taking my oil pan off and putting another one on. It's not really like a big thing, but a lot of people were concerned about me blowing my motor up. That being said though, if I do blow my motor up, a 103 in a box. You just find these in boxes these days. So, I'm not trying to blow my motor up per se, but if I do happen to blow it up, it's not exactly gonna be the end of the world. I'm just gonna have more power after that. I do like my 88 though. I think that's pretty much all the plans for now. There's not really a whole lot else I have. If you guys have any ideas or anything that you wanna see done on the bike or with the garage, what you wanna see, you know, let me know down in the comments and 
I'll start trying to put something together. Also, maybe, uh, I don't know, I didn't plan on putting this on video, but this is Indy's bike. Uh, it got stolen and then we recovered it. And ever since we recovered it, we have not gotten it to run since then. So we're gonna have to figure that out. So again, I didn't plan on filming it, but if it's something you guys wanna see, we're pretty much gonna tear this thing apart down to as far as we can and try to figure out. I know where the problem is, it's in the, it's in the wiring, it's the fuel pump. The fuel pump's not priming, but the, I mean, this thing, this thing is clapped out. No matter what, we're gonna take this thing apart rip it apart, put it back together is a, a nice setup stunt bike for Indy. Um, so if you guys wanna see that, then, you know, if you don't, I get it. A lot of people are here for the Harley. A lot of people don't really give a shit about the uh, sport bike stuff. Do you have any ideas, Lando? No, I've been focusing on this camera work, dog. You're doing good, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. If I, uh, if I can afford it one day, I'll hire you. Are you okay? Spreaders. <laughs>